Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the Docker interview questions. I am coming with series. This is the first part of Docker interview question. What is Docker? Docker is an open source lightweight containerization technology. It allows you to automate the deployment of application in lightweight and portable containers. Second question. What are the advantages of using Docker container? It allows you to describe the application lifecycle in detail. Offers in efficiency and use initial setup. And it has the simple configuration and interact with the Docker Compose. And Docker documentation provides every bit of information. What are the important features of Docker? It is very easy modeling and it is version control is very good. Placement and affinity is very good. Developer productivity and operational efficiencies. What are the main drawbacks of Docker? It will not provide any storage option, offers a poor monitoring option, and no automating rescheduling of inactive nodes. In Kubernetes, we have the rescheduling option. What is Docker image? The Docker image helps you create Docker containers. You can create Docker image to the build command. Due to this, it creates a container that starts when it begins to run. Every Docker images are stored in the Docker registry. It contains code plus dependencies to run an application. What are Docker image layers? Docker image layers are building blocks of a Docker image. Each layer represents a set in Docker file, such as installing software, copying files, or setting a command. Benefits of Docker image layer It will save the time and it will save the space. It means shared layers avoid storing duplicates. And it will really be a very good speed up for sharing. It means new layers are uploaded and downloaded. Finally, Docker layers make working with images fast and efficient to run the application. What is Docker engine? Docker engine represents this server. The Docker clients should be run on the same or remote host which can communicate through the command line or client binary or full REST API. Explain Docker registries. Here we have the two types of Docker registries are there. One is public registry and second one is private registry. Docker public registry is called Docker Hub, which allows you store the images privately. In the Docker Hub, you can store millions of images. If you want to pull that images, you can pull. What command should you run to see all the running containers in Docker? Docker PS. What command should you run to see all the containers in Docker? I mean running containers or stopped containers we need to see. That means we can use Docker PS iPhone mail. What are the common instructions in the Docker file? In the Docker file, uh, we should maintain compulsory that is from that is base image label run and cmd those are the instructions we need to maintain it is very important version what is memory swap flag docker allows you to set up memory and swap limits per container to ensure they did not Consume excessive resources. 
memory means uh, the physical ram available to run the container swap disk space used when the physical memory is full what are the common issues with memory swap containers exceed memory limits if a container exceeds its allocated memory it might get killed or stop swapping causing performance issues and the misconfiguration of swap settings also the one cause of issue swap might not able to enable or configure correctly leading to unexpected behavior how to set swap limits correctly when you starting a container uh, we have one command that is docker run space hyphen hyphen memory we need to give the uh, physical memory and hyphen memory we need to give swap that is one gigabyte and the image name this allocates 512 mb of physical memory and 512 mb of swap what is docker swarm docker swarm is a native gathering for docker which help you to group of docker hosts into a single and virtual host it allows you standard docker application program interface it is very good concept uh, you can watch from watch some youtube videos or learn some documents how can you monitor the docker in production environment uh, it is a very good question docker stats stats and docker events are used monitoring the docker in the production environment what are the states of docker container uh, we have the four four states one is running paused restarting exited what is docker hub docker hub is a cloud based registry which helps you link the code repositories allows to you build test store your image in the docker cloud you can also display the images to your host with the help of the docker hub what is virtualization virtualization is a method of logically dividing main frame to multiple applications to run simultaneously what is hypervisor the hypervisor allows you to create a virtual environment in which the guest virtual machines operates and it controls the guest systems and check if the resources are allocated to the guest as necessary and one more question how the how docker works here this is the image uh, workflow how the docker is working first we have the docker file will be there and next it will create the image and container in the virtual machine that means your ide intellectual development environment and it will push the image to the docker hub and it will push to the container that means in the production server we can deploy that images by using the configuration files in the kubernetes or apache you can deploy in any way this is the process docker work Thank you. Uh, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share this video. Next, I am going to make with the part two Docker interview questions, and it will be good for learners.